In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps funnel design slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I've created this a triangle and then one oval shape I've added here at the top option number, some icon and title and detail text. When I click, it will show me the second option, the third option and the fourth option. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with any version of powerpoint you can create this simple slide so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background or you can keep it uh, a blank also. Then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to select the triangle, draw the triangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any color. In this case, I'm going to give some dark gray. Then I'm going to rotate this one. You can see here I can rotate to uh, rotate left 90 degrees and then I can increase the size depending on my requirement and then I'm going to give some uh, one more go to fill and give some transparency effect here you can see here somewhat transparent and then I'm going to add a four or five uh, oval shapes depending on the requirement so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give the same color and make sure that this one should not be going out of this triangle area okay you can see here you have to just adjust it like this and then i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to add one more here again press ctrl d one more here and one more at the end something like this you can see here i have added four uh, oval shapes now depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and then i want to give the equal spacing between this so i'm going to select all this four oval shape then go to align and i'm going to say distribute horizontally so the equal space has been created and then here you can add the option number go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 again i'm going to use the same font color make it bold center align so i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second option Again, duplicate this one. So this is my third option. And I'm going to duplicate again. And this is the fourth option. And then if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint, you can insert some icons here. You can see here, there are some icons. Uh, if you're using the older version of PowerPoint, I've provided a complete uh, download link of the icons you can download for free and then i'm just going to move this side here and then i'm going to fill this color with white and i can just make the height and width as 0.4 and then i'm just going to put it here one by one you can see here if you want you can just add more bigger icons also and once this is done i can go to insert text box I'm going to add the title here, title 01, center align or left align, let it be the same font I'm going to use, make it bold, reduce the size and then you can add some detailed text here, add detailed text here, again reduce the font size, same color and I'm going to put it here select both of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second option the third option and the fourth option and then if you want you can add one line also in between go to insert shapes i'm going to select the line draw the line something like this may be bigger again shape outline the same color 
and the I'm going to use the dotted or this one you can see here the dash press ctrl D to duplicate this is for the second this is for the third and this is for the fourth and here if you want to add some more shapes you can add it for example I want to add this one I'm going to select few shapes here give the same color no outline shape fill the same color press ctrl D I'm going to increase the size a little bit here and press ctrl D one more here something like this and then if you want to do some animation you can add the animation also or if you like to change the icon position from here to here also that also can be done so depending on your requirement you can just change it as per the requirement so it's up to you whether way you want to position it